I know what you're thinking. Grandmaster, that's not a real Khabib hat. That's a disco wig. I know. But the real Papaka was like $90. And this one was only $12. But it's extremely itchy. So I'm going to take it off right now. And I don't want to hear anybody tripping in the comments either. Last time I posted a photo with it. And people were saying that I look like that one girl from Ozark. That's gacho, macho. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Jesse, and I'm the founder and grandmaster of MMA, Mexican Martial Arts. I'm very excited to let you know that this video is sponsored by the Ridge Wallet. More on that later. I also want to take a moment to say thank you to everyone that decided to support me on Patreon. I literally wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for you. But that's not what you're here for. Nah, you're here for the homie, Khabib Nurmagomedov. A while back, the UFC put out a video of Khabib's top finishes. Well, I watched that video and there were only seven finishes. Unreal, I'm out of here. So I did some research and I decided to make my own list of Khabib's top finishes. And what I discovered will shock you. All 28 of his fights were top finishes. And I already know what the haters are thinking. He didn't finish every opponent. Hey, didn't he finish the fights? It's just some medics. So Khabib has had 28 fights. That's 28 finishes. That's a long list. So I put up a poll asking people if they would be okay with watching a long video. And they were like, that's cool, homie. But then a lot of people started leaving me comments and they were like, hey, just cut it in half. That way you could get way more views. And that way you could get way more money. And I was like, you think I'm in this for the money? And I refuse to cut it in half. So now it's a three-parter. You're watching Khabib Nurmagomedov Top Finishes, part one. Is loyal is number one. If you don't know what is this loyal, you have to go Google Translate. Believe it or not, Khabib's first fight was in a church. They don't let us fight at my church. They supposedly we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. But if I see a principality, Khabib took no damage and put that foot asleep with the triangle choke. It's not listed on the Wikipedia because of state commission and insurance purposes. But when you watch the video, it's pretty obvious that that fool died. But his corner men were able to bring him back, like Lazarus. That fool's lucky the fight was in a church. I think we should fight in church more often. Give me 30 minutes and I can fight with anybody. Tony or Connor, doesn't matter. Maybe DC. Khabib's second fight might be the most awkward fight I've ever seen in my life, besides this one. Look at the people in the crowd. They look like they're being held against their will. They look like all of us during the quarantine because of the new world order, um, because of the coronavirus. And look at how quiet it is. It's like Dana White after I started dropping fire. First he was this and the eagle. Now you gon' bother the mouse? You used to say that was illegal. Now they got you stuck at the house. Supposedly you got an island. You Instagram laughing and bragging. Hey fool, do you think this is Enter the Dragon? That's right fool, hush mode. Honestly, I was surprised at how much his opponent looked like John Stamos. That must have been a little bit intimidating. I wouldn't want to have to sock Uncle Jesse in the face, but I would if I have to. And you know that Khabib watched Full House. It was syndicated. But he did what he had to do. People are always talking about how his stand-up was so terrible back in the day. But he let the hands go. And he broke that fool's nose. Have mercy. They gave him a little while to rest. And then I finally figured out why Khabib doesn't sit down in between rounds anymore. The cameraman did him dirty. And he said, never again. Send me a message. Let me know where, what time. One and one, ten and ten, doesn't matter. The first thing I noticed about the third fight was that it was on the same day as the second fight. They were fighting on the same tarp. It was the same referee, same shorts, same people in the audience. Khabib 
was in a kuma tank. I've heard a lot of haters complaining about how he hardly has any title defenses and that he never wants to fight. First of all, he's a man of peace, but that's irregular. It's obvious that he's willing to fight multiple times in a day, but it's not up to him. When you fight in the UFC, you have to do what the UFC tells you. Excuse me. When you fight in the UFC, you have to do what ESPN and Disney tells you. Send me a real contract. I want to beat your son. You're not going to believe it. I don't even want to tell you because you're not going to believe it. It was still the same day. Now, I did a lot of research and I decided to watch all of Khabib's fights in one day. By the time I got to this fourth fight, I realized how boring fights could be without the colorful commentary. UFC history! But I powered through with a lot of corner advice that I couldn't understand and the occasional observation from the MC. I also realized how biased that referee was. Fools have been hating on his smothering style since day one. Khabib was putting in that work on the ground for all three fights. And that fool kept standing him up like if he was Mario Yamasaki. However, Khabib overcame and he won the Kumite. Wait, for, hold up. Oh, my, my phone's about to die. <laughs> nah, for, I don't have to get up. I got a charger right here. Oh, you thought you had to get up to charge your phone. Chale, with the Ridge wireless power bank, you don't have to stay next to the wall anymore. Hey, if you want to use them, it comes with all the plugs you need. But you could also go like this. Mira, I like to stay connected to my viewers. So I'm always like this and my phone's always dying. But now with the Ridge wireless power bank, I could be like this. But don't sleep on the wallet. Before I got the Ridge wallet, I was keeping cash in my beanie and I lost a bunch of money in the washing machine. So I had a decision to make. Stop washing my beanies or get the Ridge wallet. I got the Ridge wallet. Hey, we already know that you don't want to be out there looking like George Costanza. So do the right thing. Get the Ridge wallet. The Ridge wallet comes in titanium, carbon fiber, aluminum, and over a dozen different styles and colors. Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com forward slash Voto. That's ridge.com forward slash Voto and use the promo code Voto. Link down below. Please get one. No, she's, she's not bad, but I don't understand why nobody kiss her. All right, don't get excited. This fight is in the same place, but it's another day. Probably the next morning. I don't know. This fight must have had some different rules because Khabib had his shoes on and the other fool was wearing basketball shorts. I think that this will end up being the easiest fight that Khabib ever had. Besides Connor, of course. He didn't take a single strike and he ended it in only two minutes and five seconds. To this day, there's some people who think the other fool could have won if he had put his shoes on. I guess we'll never know. I know Dana and Connor want to talk trash talking, but I want to talk real talk, you know. This one was very interesting. I scoured the internet trying to find the footage from this fight. I even spent some time on the dark web and I may not have found the fight, but I found out the truth about Area 51. There's at least 50 more areas. Alder Alderov and Khabib were actually childhood friends. And not only that, Khabib's dad was Alderov's trainer. In an interview with the UFC, Khabib went as far as saying that Alderov is his hero. And that's exactly why Khabib had all of the footage from the fight completely wiped from the internet. He just didn't want to make his homie look bad. Respect. Khabib won that one by TKO in the second round. But that's all we'll ever know. My advice. Like, train hard. The record states that Khabib's seventh fight was against Shabullah Shamuleya, but it was really against that ring. It sounds like it was put together by Will Ferrell and John C. Riley. But it's really not that big of a deal once you notice that the referee is wearing Levi's. I try my best not to let these things distract me and to just focus on the fight, but it's kind of hard to get into because of the commentary. 
These fools are talking like if they're in a movie theater. It's weird. I don't have nothing with him. Maybe he have something with him, but I don't know. But Khabib's eighth fight was against Paulo Costa's little brother. Mira, I'm not calling him out for it because it must not have been against the rules or else he would have got disqualified. But Khabib was headbutting that fool like a savage. Supposedly, Ali Bagov was disrespecting me for the fight, saying that Khabib was wild and that he didn't use his head. And Khabib was like, I got you, fam. When cage close, I'm gonna smash him. If I didn't already know the outcome of this fight, then for reals, I would have been a little bit concerned. The cameraman did a close up on this fool and I was getting those Sling Blade Carl vibes. Uh -huh. But it was all good because Otroski was about as effective on the ground as Carl. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it right here because if I did my calculations correctly, this will be about 10 minutes right now. And I respect your attention spans. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for parts two and three. I wanna say thank you again to The Ridge Wallet for sponsoring this video. Thank you. If you shop with the link that's in the description and the comment section and use promo code VOTO, you'll get 10% off. And please don't forget to do it with my link because if you just go to the main website and you don't use mine, then what are we doing here? And thank you, thank you to all of my patrons for believing in me and supporting me. Thank you for watching Mexican Martial Arts. Appreciate it. Good looking now. Late. If you're watching this video right when it was released, then you're not gonna see any other videos right here to click on because parts two and three aren't done yet. But if you're watching this in the year 2030 from your fallout shelter, or even a couple of weeks from right now, then you should see other clickable videos right here. So please click on them. Thank you.